tens of millions of Americans are totally fine with a man who's driven almost purely by racism and sexism. Oh, shut up, you oh. piece of shit. Of this is what bothers me. Him. I'm sorry, but this is what really and bothers me. Gerald can't hear me. He's like, there are 10 million Americans are driven by someone who's entirely driven by racism. I'm like, that's not it. Again, my issues with Donald Trump are I'm not against free, honest trade. I don't want to tax Ford if they put a plant in Mexico if they still employ Americans, okay? I don't want to punish people uh, uh, for being successful. I don't want a capital gains tax. I have legitimate grievances with Donald Trump. None of them are Donald Trump is racist. I do not believe that the majority of people today that here's, let's do the math here real quick, okay? Let me, so you can tweet this out. Tweet me at S. Crowder. I'm gonna get Anna Kasparian real talk now because let's do some math here. I've not talked about I've not heard anyone else talking about this. This means, if you look at these maps, that a majority of the bleed over to Donald Trump are people who voted for Barack Obama and felt screwed. They didn't vote for Barack Obama, then just, you know what? I hate Negroes! I hate the colored people! I'm gonna vote Trump! They voted Barack Obama in their own self-interest, they felt like they got screwed, and now they voted for Donald Trump. The vast majority of white Americans voted for Barack Obama, and now the vast majority of Americans are voting for Donald Trump. So you can't say that these same people, because there's a huge amount of people, if you look at that crossover, that these people were voting for progress with Donald Trump, with uh, Barack Obama, and now all of a sudden they're racist because they pulled the lever for Trump because you screwed them. You screwed them with the taxes on small businesses. You screwed them with a health care mandate that they couldn't afford, then punished them to force them to buy health care insurance when they didn't want to, and then raise those premiums 25%. And the people who did vote for Obama, who were even more privileged, who didn't have to get put into the Obamacare program, saw their premiums. Premiums go up by 40 something percent. You screwed the progressive Christians and Catholics who voted for Barack Obama, who you then mandated to pay for somebody else's abortion. You screwed them by putting Lena Dunham's sorry face or ass, I don't know which, when she's on the air and made her a wing of your party. The people who voted for Barack Obama, a significant amount of them, Donald Trump could not win without enough of those votes. And those people aren't racist. There are a lot of criticisms to have with Donald Trump. And Shank earlier going, well, when you call people racist? No, it's because of you. When you call someone racist, when you call them sexist, when you call them homophobic, when you call them transphobic because they don't want a tranny taking a dump next to their six-year-old daughter in some Charlotte Chuck E. Cheese, guess what? They pull the lever for Trump after they voted for Obama, you dipshit. So stop acting like the only possible motivating factor here that you could fathom is racism. I bet you're the kind of guy who walks into a bar and they don't like you. You know, what, what is it, because I'm a Turk? No, it's because you smell. You look like a greasy, slick water buffalo who's drowning amidst the throes of being swallowed by an anaconda. And you're a dick. It's not because you're brown, just like it's not because Donald Trump's racist. Gerald, what did you want to say? Hey, Jared's laughing. This video is taken from the full weekly podcast, Louder with Crowder. Subscribe by clicking it. Uh, Jared's laughing because I, he's at, he just got shot. The loss of blood is making him delirious. Who shot him? Guilty.